In this episode of Anatomy of Guitar Tone, I want to talk about using two compressors in series to get a little bit of that Lowell George sound. Now, Lowell George uh, was most known for his guitar work, and slide guitar work in particular, in the band Little Feet, which was his project. And he is known to have put two Dynacomps on the floor running in series into a very clean amp to get his signature sound. Uh, they say that in the studio he used two 1176s in series, but that wasn't very practical for stage. And sometimes when you're doing recording, it's just nice to have the compression pre the amp as opposed to post amp, post microphone. We're going to listen to a couple different versions. We're going to listen to a version with two pedal compressors in series, uh, one a version without and a version where I do process a signal post microphone. So it'll be a, a clean signal with no compression. And after we record it, I'm going to use two UAD 1176 plugins to process it and get a little very similar sound. Now for these examples, I'm going to be using this Keeley two knob compressor. Um, this is going to be a little bit more of the extreme side of the compression. It's really going to grab the signal and, and, and grab onto it pretty hard. And uh, this other compressor is going to be the Effectrode PC2A. This is a tube compressor, has an actual tube in it, and it's very similar to a Teletronics LA-2A. This is going to be doing a little bit more of the gentle compression. This is going to be second in the chain. drawbacks to using two compressors in series is it raises the noise floor considerably. So one of the ways I found around this, particularly in a live situation, but sometimes if you're doing live recording, is I place a volume pedal after the two compressor pedals so that even if I have my guitar volume down, the compressors don't pick up any signal noise within, within the, uh, the chain.